Because me, I'm a nerd. Oh. And there's our boat. Yeah. Services, Tarpon Springs, Florida. We are getting a bottom job done on our boat, and we're scheduled to be here for a week. In on Monday, out on Friday, and we're just going to get the bottom recoated with an ablative paint. And I think that quote was eighteen hundred dollars for the thirty-one foot boat. That includes haul out and putting back in the water and everything. But then when we got it out. We noticed that it had many, many layers of crap on it. Just look at it. And uh, just look at it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we needed to really take it down to, oh, well, maybe not all the way in the fiberglass. They gave us two options: one to do to just basically do a good sanding, primer it with this yellow primer they have, and then put the bottom paint on it, the ablative paint over that. Uh, or take it all the way down to fiberglass to get rid of the patches and, and the patches where the old paint had peeled off uh, and then put the whatever the first layer is and then put the bottom paint over that and we chose to go the more expensive route so it's, it's going to be a little pricey a little pricier than we, we figured why not the opportunity yeah. is here it's got a it's got a new almost new Perkins an overhauled Perkins engine uh, 6 354 4 or range 4 100 and, I think it's 135 horsepower that's been overhauled it only has about 70 hours on it it's in excellent shape uh, we'll see I just sent out an oil sample so I got to get the results back for that but the only thing wrong this is a 35 year old boat the only thing wrong is they found a soft spot right here around this fitting it extends down a little bit so they got to cut this out this and, for the head yeah this is I think this is for for the toilet and this is probably the the drain for it I think but maybe I don't I don't remember which one this and this may be the drain but I think this is the for the toilet. Um other than that uh and there is an old repair back here that they just gotta clean it up and probably put some glass over it. I don't think they were even gonna charge us anything for that. Oh down by the prop? Yeah. And then <clears throat> while I was out we let's look at this. cutlass bearing had some play he had to cut it out but you can see it was still had a lot of meat left but it had some play and when we uh, brought it down from st. Pete up to Tarpon Springs it was about a four and a half hour journey at seven knots I noticed a little bit of vibration just a little bit and probably that so we got a new cutlass bearing put a new cutlass bearing in at this time is and it in there right now yeah it's already in okay yeah he's already pressed it in and should be nice and tight. Um, they went over the boat. We're gonna change the uh, main engine water inlet valve, the Seacock, at this time because it it works and it shuts off the water, but it doesn't quite go 90 degrees and it's a little bit crunchy, which I did notice before. So we're gonna change that while it's out. Um, other than that, the bottom actually was pretty good. There's no blisters. Needs a little bit of attention down here. Yeah, he said that's an old repair where somebody wrapped it, uh -huh. and they didn't do a very good job. So most of that's going to be re or ground away, and then add probably just some epoxy. I'm not sure. Yeah. See what we get when we grind that away, but it's strong. I know because we grounded the boat and it didn't come off, so. And watch out here for the yeah. stern thruster. Got a little stern thruster. What kind of thruster? This, oh, this is a uh, Dick Dixon stern thruster. Oh, it's a Dixon? Hydraulic power. These are hydraulic lines. It's a hydraulic motor. And there's a big hydraulic pump in the boat that's driven right off the engine. It has like an AC clutch. So when you turn, arm the stern thruster, it has the joystick left and right. All it does is engage that AC clutch and then has uh, valves 
that flow the uh, hydraulic fluid in one direction or the other and this thing takes off. Um, but so you, the amount of thrust you get is variable with engine RPM. So if you're just idling in and you put the boat in neutral and you need more thrust, you can throttle up to say 1500 RPM and it'll pump. You know, I think this thing they said it makes can make up to 10 horsepower. Wow. In, in some installations they actually have a pipe here where you can lower the pipe and turn this and it becomes a get home motor. If you needed it. If you needed it. Although it almost doesn't make sense because the motor has to be running. Hmm. So unless you like lost your crop or something. Or transmission, I guess it would help you. Yeah. So we need new zincs, right? Yeah. We're missing. There's one supposed to be on here. Uh there was or, one here. Yeah. Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, it's on this this bolt here. Oh. And then this one actually still had now we don't have any corrosion problems necessarily. No, uh, Nothing what, what do you call electrolysis. electrolysis. Yeah, we don't yeah. have anything like that. But the zincs were just about gone. We knew that. Yeah. Um sure. But they are seem to be doing their job and they're seem to be tied in. Swim platform really needs a little help, but it's yeah. sturdy and it does its job. We'll get to that at some point. I guess those letters are vital. We can get those redone. Yeah. It won't be intrigued forever. Yep. <clears throat> so <laughs> we put the bullet. Yeah. Hopefully we won't have to do this for a while. Yeah. At least next time we do bottom paint, it'll just be paint and no work. Probably. Unless we crash it into something. Well, we'll do it ourselves. <clears throat> yeah, we should be able to do it ourselves next time. There she goes. First real bottom job since production, right? Yeah. It comes to Pittman's Yacht Services. When you come into their uh, slip here for their oh, travel, let's give them a travel tip. lift. Yeah, give them a tip here. I totally forgot we're on a river. We're on the Anclote River. So I was setting up to come in and did not account for the three knots of uh, current current <laughs> down river and the uh, the guys were there to meet us at least and they had to wrestle it in pretty good because I was pretty hard up against the uh, the I guess the west bank or west side of that slope. we lost a bumper yeah bumper did its job just put it that way <laughs> sacrificed the bumper yeah. no dents in the boat or anything it's okay it wasn't it wasn't very good uh, Look at our little mantis, yeah. little mantis anchor. Yep. So, little by little, we'll do what we can. But this is a big job that needed to be done professionally. And uh, show them the rail. So the, the oh. previous owner of this boat decided to paint all the woodwork chocolate brown. Where is it? So can you see it? But if you notice, he painted everything chocolate brown. You see all the drips on the rail. Oh. See the drips is. on the rail? I mean, he just walked around with a bucket and a brush, and wherever paint landed <laughs> is where it landed. Probably landed in the water. And uh, our cap rails need to be re-secured and re-bedded up there. That's a later project. But that's above the water line. We'll be able to do that ourselves. Yeah. Everything we're getting done now, we was going to be need to done during haul out, and we don't have the time. So We'll get to it. Yeah. Our first trawler, so we had to do it right because the hole is important, that's for sure. Need some help, but we're gonna help it. Any final words? Um, I don't know, maybe we're crazy, <laughs> like everybody says, <laughs> but yeah, like what they say, boat means. What yeah. does it bring on another thousand? Break out another thousand. Yeah. That's okay. We just did that five times over. Oh boy. <laughs> no turning back now. Alright. Over and out. <laughs>